An attorney for a man accused of causing a deadly crash over a pebble in his window says it's not his client's fault that a mother of five died. Channel 2's Matt Johnson live at the Coweta County Courthouse. Matt, the judge told that man that he cannot drive again anytime soon. That's right, and the driver's attorney says it is unfortunate that a woman died, but he says this isn't a case of road rage, and his client's family is suffering, though it wasn't his fault. My client is a nice guy, is innocent until proven guilty. Juan Marquez is a father of six, accused of playing a role in the death of a mother of five. 32 year old Jessica Jose died August 29th when she crashed into a tractor trailer that had stopped on I 85 South in Coweta County. Prosecutors say Marquez was the one who stopped that tractor trailer driver to confront him over a pebble that had hit his windshield. And it's got nothing to do with roads with a joke. It's just an individual who's trying to get a driver's attention. Friday, Marquez stood before a judge while charged with vehicular homicide, reckless driving, and other traffic charges. I spoke to Jose's family shortly after the crash, and her mother told me she holds Marquez responsible. These kids will never heal from all this. They will try, but they will never heal. And I hope you know this, and I hope you stay where you're at for a long time. Judge Robert Stokely granted a $25,000 bond, but ordered him not to drive, not even for work. Marquez's attorney tells me he's a real estate contractor who owns his own business, and being able to drive to job sites is how he provides. That's created a lot of hardship for him and his family. And Marquez can only leave the state for work-related projects. In the meantime, the community has raised nearly $6,000 for Jessica Jose's children as they try to move on without their mother. Live in Coweta County, Matt Johnson, Channel 2 Action News.